after that point in the conversation, the vibe kind of changed. That was the point where you moved out of alignment with your ideal future self because your ideal future self would have held that masculine frame, would have been able to direct the conversation where he wanted to. What's going on, my brothers? Today's video is about how every word you speak either makes you stronger or weaker. Now, this sounds very extreme and it sounds very dramatic, but I'd like you to hear me out. So I have a unwavering belief that the words you speak affect your psyche, affect your actions, affect your thought process. It affects people's perception of you and it affects the energy that you exude as a person. It's something that I'm still coming to terms with because I often catch myself slipping and saying things that do not align with my future self. It's something that I'm trying to correct and I'm pretty sure that you face this problem as well. Have you ever gone home in the shower? You think, why did I say that? It's a stupid thing to say. It's not who I am. And it could be any conversation that you had that day. It could be an argument, it could be a friendly conversation, but you always kind of know when you've said something that isn't in alignment with the best version of you. Now, I made a similar video about how your actions have to align with your future self so that you can achieve those goals. The same rings true with your words. The words you speak must align with your future self so that you can become that person. If you don't speak as if you are that person, then you will never become that person. It's that simple. I often catch myself on an almost a daily basis saying at least one thing where I think of something that I could have said, which would have been better. Not better as in the person who I was speaking to would have reacted better, but better from the point of view of this aligns more with the person I want to become. And in my opinion, when your words are out of alignment with the person you want to become, it leaves you open to manipulation. It's like a psychological crack in your armor, let's say, because if you were perfectly aligned, if you were unwavering, then your words would leave no room for questioning. Everything you say is in alignment with your future self. I suppose I could give you some actionable steps or real life examples so you know what on earth I'm talking about. I'll give you a real life example. This is a good one. You're speaking to a woman and she says something which is almost like playful banter, which is fairly common. And you in the moment, because you're fully absorbed in, you know, enjoying speaking to this woman, you don't have that higher sense of playing the game and you react instinctively to something she says where she makes a joke, she says something playful and you kind of escalate it in your in your tone of voice and you get like really like you get almost too excited. I've made this mistake a few times and you temporarily leave that masculine frame, which there's some leeway. It's not very like a hard and fast rule, but you leave that masculine frame a little bit too much. And then you notice that after that point in the conversation, the vibe kind of changed. That was the point where you moved out of alignment with your ideal future self because your ideal future self would have held that masculine frame, would have been able to direct the conversation where he wanted to, to flirt and play the game the right way. But because you left that alignment and you let emotions and excitement take control of you, you escalated the conversation a little too emotionally and you left your masculine frame. I could give you more examples, but they would all fall under the theme of not fully thinking through what you're saying and not approaching them within that frame of how would my ideal future self handle this? Actually, another example could be to do with business or to do with your professional ambitions. And if you get all arrogant or thinking you're better than you really are when you're talking about your ambitions and you become somewhat condescending, that is out of alignment. Well, in my case, that's out of alignment with my future ideal self, right? Now, I'm not saying you have to have like five trains of thought going at the same time and be like a psychopath trying to hyper analyze everything you're saying. What I am saying is that you should have some higher thought whilst you're speaking. That's all. Just think about what you're saying. And this will become easier as you cultivate a clearer image of who your ideal future self is. If you don't know who your ideal future self is and who you want to become, this isn't as easy. But when you do develop that, then you'll be able to know whether what you're saying is in alignment with that future or not. So the most common example I can really think of in this case is when we put ourselves down a little bit to try and fish a compliment out of somebody else. If you're watching this, it's likely that you're into some form of self-improvement. And do you think your ideal future self, the man you want to become, do you think he would put himself down just to get some validation from another person? Probably not. Catch yourself in that moment. If you ever stray to the point of putting yourself down to get a compliment from the other person, try not to do it because your ideal future self wouldn't do that. So guys, in summary, the words we speak must be in alignment with the man we want to become because if they're out of alignment with that man, he may never become a reality. And guys, in a world that tries to break men down, I'm here to build them back up. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one.